After meeting a clever fox, a group of animals plan to steal the town's most coveted trophy, but they must prove that they are not the villains to the people around them. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, The Bad Guys, from 2022. A wolf and a snake are arguing over coffee in a cafeteria, as if they were human. When the animals got up to ask for the bill, the customers and staff hid in fear of them, demonstrating that the two appeared to be evil. The snake jumps on purpose, scaring people. As soon as they step out into the street, the reaction of the citizens is no different. Cars stop for them to cross the avenue to a bank, where they pull off a heist, managing to steal a lot of money with ease. The pair then get into a car, which the wolf drives insanely through the streets of Los Angeles. Mr. Snake is a specialist in opening safes, unraveling the most complicated combinations in the world. During the journey, they are surprised to realize that cars are chasing them. What's more, the traffic lights are all closed, but when the car approaches, it's allowed through because Miss Tarantula has hacked the traffic system. After his friends cross the intersection, the spider closes all the traffic lights, causing the cars to crash into each other. During the escape, the snake receives a cake as a birthday present and one of the approaching police cars is crushed when it passes under a construction machine. Shortly afterwards, the shark, a master of disguises, joins the team, as does Mr. Piranha, who emerges from inside one of the vehicles attacking an officer. The snake finally manages to open the stolen safe, causing thousands of dollars to fly out of the car. At that moment, the group arrives at a place full of police officers. This draws the attention of a tough officer who commands the others, so she starts chasing the creatures. The police chief stretches her body out towards the animal's vehicle, which provokes her and makes her distracted, so she doesn't realize that there's a bus just ahead, which makes her return to her car, almost causing a collision. The animals are then surrounded by more vehicles that appear in front of them, so they swerve quickly and fly over a staircase at high speed. Later, the team arrives at their hideout, which is full of jewels and gold. They celebrate the snake's birthday and Mr. Piranha eats all the cake himself. The snake is about to eat a popsicle, but his shark friend wants a piece. So he tricks him and the two start an endless fight over the ice cream. On television, Governor Diane makes a speech to the population, claiming that the bad guys are nothing more than amateurs who use outdated techniques to deceive and rob people. She also announces that she will soon be handing out the trophy called the Golden Dolphin, which is the city's Good Samaritan Award that all the crooks want to steal. On the other hand, the snake doesn't want to take part in the robbery because he believes that his team already has everything they need in the hideout. Nevertheless, he decides to take part in the robbery when he realizes that his archenemy, a pig, is also trying to steal the statuette. During the charity event, the Golden Dolphin will be kept behind the scenes, protected by various security tricks, so they decide to disguise themselves as celebrities to break into the venue. In the ballroom, there are two armored doors that are guarded by the chief of police and her subordinates, the second door only the governor is allowed to enter. So the wolf approaches her, taking the opportunity to steal her shiny ring. Suddenly, the fox begins to make fun of the group's tricky way of stealing, leaving the predator dismayed. As they talk, the wolf prepares to invade the place with his friends and the police are ready to hunt them down. The snake enters through the pipes, changing his skin along the way and leaving his costume inside. In the bathroom, Mr. Piranha attacks one of the waiters, stealing his clothes. The spider releases all the security alarms and the wolf bumps into the police chief, stealing her access card. As he descends the stairs, he intends to rob a lady, but ends up helping her as she is about to fall, so she thanks him with a hug, which makes him very happy and gives him a strange feeling. Elsewhere at the party, Mr. Shark starts a scandal by pretending to be in labor to get the security guard's attention. After hiding in the waiter's cart, Mr. Piranha and the wolf go to the other guards who are protecting the passage, then attack them by surprise, so they can get through the door. Inside the protected room, the snake holds back the predator, who descends very close to the statue, trying to avoid the laser sensors. However, it ends up dropping the diamond ring, triggering the devices and causing one of the statues to break. Faced with this situation, the spider prepares to override the system, but is unable to deactivate it. They need to hurry because the stage curtain will be opened in less than five minutes, revealing the robbery. At the same time, the police chief knocks on the door of the room and the piranha starts to feel sick, releasing a sinister odor. The whole situation makes the tarantula start to act faster, using all its speed, but in the face of the stinking mist that invades the place, it ends up fainting. At that moment, the police chief manages to open the door, causing the odor to escape. However, the woman is interrupted by the shark, and the spider manages to wake up to deactivate the system. When the curtains open, the governor realizes that her trophy is no longer there, so she tries to keep the guests calm. At the same moment, the team of animals sneaks out. However, the wolf hears Professor Marmalade's speech and wags his tail happily, 
which reveals the presence of the group of thieves at the event. They end up knocking over the statue, so they try to escape using a steel cable, but they don't succeed and are caught for it. Even so, the predator tries to convince the governor to help them. At this point, the professor suggests giving the group a chance, claiming at a famous event that they can change. Marmalade manages to convince the fox to let them go temporarily. Inside the car, the wolf agrees with his friends to deceive Diane, as they will only take advantage of their freedom to steal the trophy again. At the rodent's house, he suggests doing some exercises to improve the kindness of the group, asking the snake and the shark to share a popsicle, but the snake says he can't, so his partner gets angry and swallows him. After that, the predator dresses up as a lady and his companions have to help her cross the street, but Mr. Piranha gets distracted and lets his friend get run over. Later, the group is forced to rescue a cat that is trapped in a coconut tree, and the animal ends up being frightened by their rudeness and attacks the wolf. The next task is to invade a research center to save guinea pigs who are being used as guinea pigs. To do this, they put on cute outfits that make them less evil. Inside the laboratory, the shark tries to distract the scientist and the snake is thrown several times against the glass window, but the doctor doesn't notice. They know that the animals are behind a steel door, with access only through the pipes. So the snake invades the place, falling into one of the rooms where it encounters thousands of rodents. Simultaneously, the professor walks outside into the crowd, claiming that he will do a good deed that day. Meanwhile, the group of animals open the steel door and find Mr. Snake with a belly full of guinea pigs. The wolf quickly shakes him from side to side until he releases all the animals. At that moment, the door is opened to the public, who are surprised by the team inside, blaming them for the invasion, the robbery and all the chaos. Diane is furious with the group and with Marmalade, saying that she will call the police. So the wolf tries to convince the fox by being gentle with her. Soon after, the governor steals the thief's ring without him realizing it, showing that they are not so different. She gives up on arresting the animals and decides to give them another chance. At dawn, the predator observes nature and realizes that the kitten is still on top of the coconut tree. So he climbs the tree, which frightens the kitten and breaks one of the branches, causing the little one to fall. The wolf quickly catches him before he reaches the ground and returns him to the same spot, asking for another chance to save him. The moment the kitten trusts the predator, the hero feels his hair stand on end with excitement. Seconds later, his companions appeared next to the professor, who had recorded the whole scene in real time and this caused admiration among the citizens, rather than fear. Later, before going to sleep, the wolf takes the kitten to sleep with him and Mr. Snake begins to believe that he really is turning into a good animal. The next day, they go to a ball where they can steal the golden dolphin, and they have to take a titanium case handcuffed to the chief of police to release the safe. When they arrive at the party, they are greeted by Marmalade and dozens of citizens who clap for them. The shark is about to start his plan, but ends up being hindered by some fans. What's more, the wolf is also intercepted by some people, so he changes direction, causing the fox who was waving at him to become suspicious. At that moment, Mr. Snake manages to steal the woman's glasses with her fingerprints on them and opens the suitcase. Just as he is about to take the object, the policewoman punches the suitcase, causing the snake to clamp down on her body. The woman then looks for her cup and ends up mistaking it for Mr. Snake, so she takes the animal into her mouth, believing it to be the drink. However, the snake's friends come along and distract the officer, and before she can drink, the piranha starts singing on stage. The other animals in the group join the band, which upsets the policewoman and makes her release the snake. The creature then gets free and manages to steal the password inside the briefcase. At the same time, Mrs. Tarantula manages to deactivate the security system. During a dance, the wolf returns a diamond he had stolen from Diane, leaving her delighted with his kindness. While giving a speech on stage, the predator needs to press the button to release the security system protecting the trophy, but he hesitates and gives up the plan, handing the valuable object to the professor, leaving his friends disappointed. Diane is about to grant them a pardon for their crimes, but the light suddenly goes out and all the guests realize that the meteorite is gone, suspecting the animals. The wolf claims he's innocent, but an image of him appears on the big screen, causing all the policemen to run after him, managing to ambush him in front of the drinks counter. The animal throws liquid at the policeman and manages to escape. Before continuing, he goes to the governor, handing her a piece of paper. On the way out of the saloon, Mr. Piranha interrupts them, saying that they have to face the police. Then the animal throws a gun up in the air, but the object lands on the shark's head, causing them to be arrested. At the same moment, Marmalade gets into the car, claiming that he knows they're not guilty of anything. At that moment, the wolf remembers the lady he saved, as well as some of the things the professor said and reveals him as the real thief of the meteorite, because he was in disguise. 
the rodent reveals his true personality, telling them that he only wanted the rock because scientists discovered that it emits an electromagnetic frequency unlike anything else on Earth. However, the creature intends to use the rock's power to pull off the world's biggest heist. He then reveals that the group has fallen into all his traps in order to become good. The thief becomes enraged and sets out to attack him, but the door of the vehicle is opened by the enemy, making people believe that the wolf is evil. However, Diane becomes suspicious of the guinea pig when he starts talking to the policeman. So she takes the paper she received from her partner and goes to the place indicated on the map, arriving at the group's hideout, which is full of treasures. While the team is being prepared to enter the jail, the wolf reveals that he helped the old lady instead of stealing her purse and ended up enjoying the reward, leaving his friends enraged. Mr. Snake lunges at him, tangling himself in the animal, forcing the security guard to separate them. Suddenly, another guard falls from the roof, revealing that a woman dressed in black is beginning an attack on the prison. She strikes the guards with skill, throwing them one by one into the cells and the group of animals watch in amazement. When one of the policemen is about to escape, the woman throws a shoe at him, causing him to fall. Finally, the skilled ninja removes her headdress, revealing her identity as the governor, better known as Crimson Paw, the queen of heists. Suddenly, the place is invaded by thousands of policemen. So the fox goes after them, ensuring that they all escape. Diane decides to join the team so that they can stop the professor from carrying out his plan, but only the wolf intends to help in the mission, as the other members no longer want to be part of the group and decide to leave. At the same time, Marmalade works as a scientist in his laboratory, using the power of the meteorite to test on animals. He then activates a lever, causing an electromagnetic field to reach a huge area around the site, allowing him to control all the rodents within that area. The fox says that one day she tried to steal the golden dolphin, but she looked in the mirror and decided to do something good, and after that experience she never stole anything again. Mr. Wolf accompanies the governor to her living room, where there is a hidden room full of gadgets and weapons that fire lasers. Using her tracking devices, Diane reveals that there are several guinea pigs scattered around the city, which the professor is controlling. There is no specific target, because the animal wants to steal the very money that is going to the schools in the trucks. Faced with this situation, the pair must stop all the rodents. To do this, they must steal the meteorite, so that Marmalade will no longer have control over the animals. So they put on their special outfits and climb into an fast car, leaving the garage in full swing. At the same time, the group of thieves return to their hideout, where they discover that all their things have disappeared. The only thing that wasn't stolen was the fridge, where there are several photos and a popsicle that Mr. Snake decides to give as a present to make his shark friend happy. Everyone realizes that he has done a good deed, even if he denies it. At that moment, Mrs. Tarantula says that they can be good and that maybe the wolf was right, which makes everyone's tails start wagging, but the snake refuses to go over to the side of good and leaves the place furious. Meanwhile, evil rodents are invading the city in search of trucks full of money. When the needy hospitals are about to receive the donation, the trucks are invaded by guinea pigs, driving the city completely crazy. So the wolf and the fox make their way to Marmalade's hideout, where they enter through cables in the ceiling. Inside, they come across the unprotected golden dolphin waiting for them. At that moment, the predator tries to steal the object, but receives a shock and the two are captured. The professor appears and steals the governor's diamond, claiming that he received help from Mr. Snake to discover the couple's plan. Shortly afterwards, the snake grabs the technological helmet and the two leave the scene. Then the rope holding the pair begins to descend, bringing them very close to a sharp blade on the ground. However, they realize that a foul-smelling gas has begun to rise in the room, revealing that their friends have just arrived to save them. They manage to deactivate the machine and free their companions. At the same time, the villain and the snake are surprised to see a group of friends waiting for them. The team steals the meteorite and flees at full speed, but they return when they realize that the kitten is stuck in the tree. Along the way, they realize that Marmalade still has control of the rodents, even without the meteorite. The solution is to use a signal interceptor to interrupt the connection, so they try to add the devices to the trucks, but the fox fails, so they all decide to split up. The governor drives her motorcycle and separates from the group, throwing the discs at the vehicles with skill. The shark throws Mr. Piranha towards the trucks, and he manages to launch several devices. On the other hand, the fox is almost crushed by one of the cars, but it gets underneath and escapes danger. The fish is also cornered by two vehicles and manages to jump high enough to get on top of one of the trucks. Once all the cars have been fitted with the devices, the spider takes control of them and returns them to the schools. The fox goes to the police station, where he tells the officers that the bad guys are heroes because they recovered the meteorite. However, Mr. Wolf remembers his snake partner, so he decides to start the vehicle and go after him, 
making everyone believe that they are stealing the rock. They reach Marmalade's helicopter, but the villain threatens them by putting on his helmet. Suddenly, a mountain of guinea pigs appears behind the car, delivering several blows to the vehicle. The snake asks the hooded animal to take it easy on his friends, so he agrees to use the group's weakness. So the professor pushes Mr. Snake out of the aircraft, but the animal manages to grab the helicopter before it crashes. The wolf then decides to hand over the rock in exchange for his partner, demanding that he hand over his colleague first. The animal then uses laser lipstick to cut the chain connecting the aircraft to the meteorite, without realizing that the road is about to end. At that moment, Marmalade throws the snake out of the helicopter, so the team speeds up the car to reach him before it falls into the cliff. The driver realizes that there is a chasm in the road, but he speeds up the vehicle, causing it to fly over momentarily. However, before they reach the other side, the car crashes and the creatures collapse without knowing what to do. All the animals accept defeat, but the wolf reveals that he has brought a device for them to use to reach the bridge while the car explodes beneath them. The debris hits the helicopter and the professor loses control of the guinea pigs. The police chief appears and is about to arrest them, but Diane stops her. The governor decides to reveal her true identity, so the predator stops her and the group of thieves surrender. Suddenly, Marmalade arrives on the scene revealing that he has saved the town and everyone realizes that the meteorite is actually a simple lamp. It is then revealed that Mr. Snake had changed the real object and decided to blow it up at that very moment, which leaves the little rodent dumbfounded. Soon afterwards, the lamp falls on the wolf, allowing the stolen diamond to arrive easily in front of the police, who accuse him of theft. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.